Be honest. How do I look? I'm not going to lie to you. There is a remote possibility that the more eagle-eyed observer will have discerned a minor discrepancy in the hue of your attire. Do you think it'll affect my chances of winning the contest? Some people might argue that your bold reinterpretation of a national treasure is a delightfully provocative and consciously incongruous attempt to redefine and modernise tradition. But personally, I'd say you look like some twat who accidentally put his costume through the hot wash. We had a pizza delivered last night. This is the box it came in. We haven't thrown it out because we're convinced that the box is stuffed with cheese but haven't found it yet. There's not a single slice left, I'm afraid. You pig! I only had three slices. What can I say? We should never have ordered the pizza that had chicken nuggets and burgers instead of a crust. Personally, I'm convinced that someone at Paulie's Pizza Palace saw Logan's run one too many times and is trying to ensure that no one lives past the age of 30. Let's head off to the audition, shall we? Have you got a map of the route to the theatre? It's right here in my hand, isn't it? No. Oh. Then I've lost it. Well, you'll have to find it or get a new one, won't you? We're looking for an umbrella, a crown, a pair of gloves, a horseshoe, five birds, an artificial leg, the kickstand from a 1967 Harley Sportster. Hold up. What's wrong, Mel? We were just getting into the story when you stopped dead and started playing I Spy. What's going on? Isn't that how it works? Set the scene, little bit of dialogue, then stop dead and play an arbitrary hunt the object game? That makes no sense at all. There's no motivation, no reason behind the game at all. Sure there is. People would notice how painfully thin the plot was if we didn't distract them with random minigames. Quick, let's take two photos of the bathroom and try to spot the differences. No, no, no. No hidden objects, no difference spotting, no sliding tiles, and absolutely no reassembling torn pieces of paper. I wish you'd said something sooner. So what'll we do instead? I mean, the game will be finished in 20 minutes if we take out all the random pointless puzzles. We'll just have to include more plot, more contextual puzzles, more jokes, and more character interaction. Well, we've wasted nearly two minutes complaining about hidden object games. And the system works. I'm not sure how it comes off its hinges. The thing about taking a door with you is that it ceases to be a door when it's in your pocket. Mill, I don't think I can go through with this. Now that my costume is ruined, I've lost all my self-confidence. I don't believe I can win anymore. That's dopey. Really? You don't think the die running and turning my patriotic costume purple has ruined my chances of winning? Of Course not. You never had any. That's it. I'm going back to bed. Oh, don't be soft. We travelled all the way across town on the bus to get that costume. You can't give up without at least getting to the theatre and showing them your act. I didn't sit next to that homeless woman that smelled of vodka for you to just walk out without doing your bit. Okay, I'll do it. But only because you believe in me. Did I ever mention that I have total faith in your ability to mop the kitchen floor occasionally? Cheesy crackers? Yeah. You should change your underwear more often. Cheesy crackers? Yeah. Talk. Cherry bar. It's 
says here that Dennis Leary has a new stand-up show coming to town. Are you going to go see it? No, I saw him in 1987. Didn't you like him? He was okay, but I think I'll wait until he's got some new material. Could be in for a long wait, dude. I know. Bill Hicks is dead. There's a slightly stained napkin sitting on the arm of the sofa. It's the napkin I used to wipe my hands when I was eating pizza last night. Oh, thank God. I thought you'd stayed up late watching Desperate Housewives again. I don't really have a great interest in current affairs. I dread to think what will happen when he finds out that Mr. Hooper died. Hey, there's something written on this pizza napkin. It's probably another suicide note from the pizza delivery boy. That kid really needs to get laid. No, it's the address of the theater where our auditions are being held. I must have written it down while we were eating dinner. So where exactly is it? I have no idea. Great, the A train runs right past I have no idea. Now that you've got the address, maybe you could get a map which shows us how to get there. It's Mel's PC. He uses it for all kinds of clever stuff. But I just play games and use Facebook. Your professors always said you should pay more attention in class. Professors always say things like that. Yeah, but in your case, they were right. Remember how you never used to read the college notice board and you were still in the old sports hall when they bulldozed it? Mel does all the technical stuff. Wouldn't be of much use to me. I am often tempted to leave my laptop at home and lug a full tower and 27-inch flat screen around with me all day, but it's one of those little conveniences I never quite get around to. I could see if I have any replies from that dating website I signed up to, I suppose. Ain't technology amazing? Sure is. If I went speed dating, it would take me an entire evening to get the number of rejections I get on here in half an hour. Plus, if you went speed dating, you'd have to get dressed. I can use the address on this napkin to create a map which shows us how to get to the auditions. Do you need a hand? I know you're not the most technical person. No, I think I'm okay. Hey, does Google know where I'm going? Or do I have to enter a destination? How could Google possibly know where you're going unless you tell it? Well, they have those maps that know where you are. What? Those big maps at the mall that say you are here. And I always am. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that map. Otherwise, we'll end up in Mount Pleasant instead of Broadway. Shall I take this? Yes, and try not to blow your nose in it or smother it in pizza sauce before we leave the apartment. Huh? <laughs> Here's the map showing us how to get to the auditions. What's this mark here? I think it's the symbol for a hot dog vendor. No, it's ketchup. You haven't left my sight and you haven't eaten anything. I just don't know how you do it. Have you seen my invitation? You had to be invited? Oh yeah. These are prestigious, exclusive auditions. Only the very best are invited. Wow. 
I guess your acting skills have impressed people more than I realized. Not really. I only got one because the stage manager ran me over in the parking lot last week, and I took an invitation in exchange for a legal waiver. How are the back spasms? Easing off. It's a map that Mel printed out. I love how Google Maps lets you customise your route. You can even set it to find the route that takes you past the least number of crack houses. Here's the map showing us how to get to the auditions. So where could I have put the invitation? There's a drawer in the bedside cabinet. It's where I keep my briefs. If there's one thing your briefs are not, it's brief. They're positively verbose. I'm already wearing clean underwear. Your mom would be proud of you. Yep, I have nothing to fear from being hit by buses now. I don't want to get inside right now. You're thinking about that day the lock got stuck, aren't you? I have nightmares about that day. There's a golden ticket in here. It must be the invitation to the AGS auditions. Either that or we're spending the afternoon at a chocolate factory. Ah, uh, now the auditions are going to seem like second best. Mel, I found the invitation. Well done, mate. Do we have everything now? Hello? Lieutenant, how nice to... No, we're going to the America's Got Superpowers auditions, remember? We booked a day off and everything. But... I guess if it's only an hour. Tell me you didn't just give up our day off. It's only for an hour. You know I can't say no to Sam. That's strange. She says it to you all the time. What does she want? She said something personal had come up. She needs to take the rest of the day off. But that means she won't be able to transcribe those interviews. Oh, so I was right. You didn't give up our day off. You gave up my day off. I have to be there too. I'm the only one who has the keys. Yes, of course. The keys. The ubiquitous symbol of authority. Because only the most responsible and trustworthy of men is allowed to use the photocopier. Mel, I found the invitation. Well done, mate. Do we have everything now? Did you have to do that? Of course I did. Can't very well go into work dressed as a comic book superhero. Doesn't present a very professional attitude to work. I mean, did you have to get changed in a phone booth? What's wrong with that? A lot of superheroes get changed in phone booths. Yes, but most wait for the lady making a call to finish first. <laughs> I don't think it's possible to turn the siren and lights on without getting inside and starting the car. 
all without being arrested. I wish. Carl's been trying to pick her up since the day he met her. Unfortunately, she doesn't like his liberal attitudes to life. She's slightly to the right of Genghis Khan. And we're a couple of bleeding heart liberals. At least, that's what Sam always calls us. It's safe to assume she calls us other things when we're out of earshot. Hi guys, thanks for coming in at such short notice. We were happy to help. He was happy to help. I was bloody annoyed to do it. I know you guys had plans today. The America's Got Superpowers auditions. Yeah, I'm hoping that a big talent agent will spot me when it airs on TV. Whereas last time he got spotted on TV, it was just his social security fraud investigator. Well, I promise you this won't take long. I just need those interviews transcribed and then you can get off. Is everything okay? You said on the phone you had an urgent personal matter to take care of. Yeah, everything's fine. My sister came down with something and she needs me to collect the kids from school and fill a prescription for her. I'll be right back. Hurry up then. I need to be off soon. The last time I took something off of Sam's desk without permission, she locked me in the stationery closet all afternoon. Some people might call it an overreaction, but in this difficult economic climate, the NYPD just can't afford to waste paper clips. The last time Outside this window is the NYPD parking lot, and beyond that, there's a park. I can see Sam's Lexus in the parking lot. How do you know that's hers? It's parked on top of a panhandler. Sam is waiting to leave. It would be rude to keep her waiting. It's not the rudest thing you've ever wanted to do to her. Mel. You promised you wouldn't discuss that in front of her. Can we hurry this up, boys? I oh, this will only take a minute. Superheroes are cool, huh? I bet you'd have a lot more respect for me if I was a superhero. Screw superheroes. They have no respect for the law. They ignore rapists and serial killers because there's more publicity in tackling bank robberies and street crime. Most of all, they don't care what happens to the law enforcement officers when they take their tights off and go home for the night. Who's looking out for us? I'm always watching your ass. I know. It's the reason I stopped wearing tight leather pants. So you said on the phone you want us to transcribe some interviews? Yes, it shouldn't take more than an hour at the most. Why don't you shove brooms up our asses? We could sweep up while we work. Mel, don't exaggerate. Excuse me. You could fit a carpet shampoo up yours anyway. Where are the interviews? They're on SD cards. There are two on my desk, but the third one was needed for a camera. The camera has subsequently gone missing. That's convenient. When Internal Affairs is asked to investigate allegations of police brutality, the recording of the interview is nowhere to be found. For God's sake, Melvin, not everything is a conspiracy. Someone probably just forgot to put it back when they finished with it. So you just want the interviews processed on the workstation and transcribed into text? Yeah, a few things came up in the interviews that I'd like to run against our databases. It's probably nothing, but it doesn't hurt to try. Especially when someone else is doing all the donkey work. 
We understand what we have to do. You can take off now. All the best to your sister. Huh? Oh, right. Thanks, guys. These must contain the interviews that Sam wants us to transcribe. Yeah, do you want to let me hold on to them, though? I still have vivid memories of lending you my USB drive. It still worked, didn't it? Yeah, once we got all the sour cream out of it. I can't think of anyone to call. Just as well. Sam's installed a new app which automatically sets off an alarm if you pick up her phone. Just me? How can the phone possibly know it's my hand picking it up? Don't know. Perhaps it scans the screen for saturated fats and corn syrup. Did I mention that as well as sounding an alarm, it also reports the phone stolen and enables GPS tracking? Uh, no. I knew I forgot to mention something. That's strange. This box isn't meant to be here. How can you know that? I've memorized the location of every box in this room. Dude, that's a bit sad. I don't have much choice. A magical fairy keeps leaving half-eaten cream-filled sponge cakes in the boxes on my shelves. If I don't find them, they go off and the whole room is full of fumes. Really? <laughs> Imagine that. Shall I have a look and see what's in this box you don't recognize? Please do. If it turns out to be another foxhound operative sneaking into the building, the boss will have my guts for garters. No special ops, guys. But there is a camera and a whole bunch of file folders. It's probably that idiot Profarchi. He keeps mistaking my office for the evidence locker. So this could be that camera that Sam said had gone missing. It could well be. I don't know why they keep Profarchi on. He only ever appears in the office briefly and then he's gone again. Yet somehow he still manages to screw everybody else's work up. One of these days I'll frame him for taking kickbacks just to get rid of him. This is a pretty nice camera. I wonder if anyone would notice if it went missing. Haven't you half-inched enough this month? Someone's gonna realize you're pilfering that antique card table in the Chief's private office sooner or later. How did you know I was working on pinching that? One of the legs has been sawn off. I thought they'd notice if I took the whole thing at once. Hey, there's an SD card in here. It could be the one Sam wanted us to transcribe. Terrific. Whip it out, then. This SD card can... It won't. They save all the hilarious ones with crystal meth addicts for movie night in the senior detective's office. Mel. What do we need to do to transcribe the interviews on these cards? Best case scenario, we just put the card in and let the software do its work. As simple as that? Wow. If people keep designing intelligent software, it could put people like you out of a job. Then where would you be? Standing behind you in the welfare line. As long as evolution keeps designing idiots, there will always be a need for people like me. Hmm, that's strange. The workstation just restarted. Oh, sorry. I was leaning on the power switch. I rest my case. 
Okay, the first interview is processing now. That'll be fine. The second one looks to be in Spanish, though. Is that a problem? If we use the traditional transcription software, we'll be here all day. The one on my workstation does have a Spanish module, but I never got around to installing it. So, we need to find the Spanish software module. Or give up all hope of making the auditions, yeah. <laughs>